What's up? Mike here, head trader, True Trading Group. Uh, May 18th was an awesome day. Um, was a really great day for me. I closed out the um, my last two swing trade positions. If you guys watch my previous videos, I opened up three new swing trades the other day. Closed one out the other day and just closed um, – actually closed one out, took uh, – sold the bulk of my position in another. Um, still I'm holding on to a piece. So I'm going to give you updates on those swing trades towards the end of this video. But first, I'm going to focus on – a 24% gain that I caught in ADOM because it was such a thing of beauty. And this relates perfectly back to something that I spoke about in my last video. If you did not watch the, my previous video, when I spoke about primary support levels and secondary support levels, please do yourself a favor, go back and watch it. It was just the, the video right before this one, guys. Okay. I've been talking about the market has been a little bit tougher um, because primary support levels are being tested and they're being broken and then stocks will go down. They'll find support at secondary levels before turning back, um, and then pushing higher. And that is exactly what happened in ADOM. And I was all over it. I was ready for it. I talked about it in chat for a couple hours before the move happened. I was talking about it on Twitter before the move happened. Uh, guys, Oh, follow me on Twitter. I just, I literally just started tweeting, um, my username is at Mike Edward underscore TTG. So give me a follow. Um, I was talking about this setup on Twitter um, like an hour before it happened, uh, before the stock made its move. And I'm going to go over that with you because it relates perfectly back to what I was talking about in my previous video. Okay. So let's get right to this ADOM setup. Okay, at 10.30, ADOM starts to get volume out of nowhere and just starts to push real big, strong upward action here. I tried getting filled on ADOM right in here in front of VWAP um, earlier in the morning, and I did not get filled, and the stock just pushed and continued higher without me. So it was a little frustrating, but um, this is a, one of my basic lessons that I always talk about is don't give up. Um, on good trade ideas, guys, because if a stock is truly strong, you'll get another crack at it. And that's exactly what happened with ADOM. So even though I missed my, uh, my entry here, I was bidding at 75, 76, I couldn't get any fill and the stock continued higher and ran all the way up to like 94. Um, and that was frustrating cause I, you know, I tried to get filled, but I got nothing. Um, but I didn't just give up on the stock. I, I paid attention. I was watching to see what, what was happening here. Let me pan this over so you can see this a little bit more clearly now. Okay, again, here's where I tried to get filled and I got nothing and the stock pushed higher. Now, after we get this move, I want you guys to notice the area of support that I was watching to hold throughout lunchtime. Okay, let's draw Fibonacci retracement levels out from low to high. And I want you to notice where the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level lines up perfectly with VWAP. Okay, this orange line on my screen is VWAP, lines up perfectly. Then you can also see a previous high. Okay, let me zoom this in a little bit further so you can see a little bit better. Here's a previous high of the day. So now you have a previous high, the 38.2 Fibonacci level, and VWAP all converging on this 82 cent area. So after this big strong move higher, I was looking, I saw the stock start to pull in here, and we started to hold support at this 82 cent level on much, much, much lighter volume. Okay, that's what I like to see. I like to see a stock have real heavy volume when it pushes higher, have much lighter volume as it pulls back down to a major support level, which in this case, this 82 cent area is going to be your primary support level. Okay, this goes back to the video that I was talking about, uh, my, my previous video, the point that I was talking about with primary and secondary support levels. This is your primary support level right here. You have three support indicators all converging at 82 cents. Now, at noon, we broke below that support level. That support level was tested, violated, and broken, okay? And like, I, I did not get upset about it, and I did not just turn my attention away from ADOM. At exactly noon, I actually came on in chat, and I said to everybody in chat, guys, I'm not surprised that ADOM did not hold up this level, okay? I'm not gonna take my eyes off it. Let's pay attention to ADOM, see if it regains that support level later in the, the lunchtime session to give us a setup in the afternoon. And that's because that's the action that we've been seeing lately. Primary support levels getting broken, secondary support holding, and the stock regaining that original support level and continuing higher. That's what happened in ADOM. 
Okay, so we broke that primary support level, went down to our secondary support, which is the 50 Fibonacci retracement level. Okay, after that support level is broken, where's our next support? It's going to be your 50. Okay, so here we are. We end up finding support at the 50 Fibonacci retracement and then pushing back through that prior support level. And now notice what started to happen. Well, let me, I don't want you to see that yet. Notice what started to happen. After it got back above 82 cents, it regained that support level and that support level started once again holding. Okay, now I'm going to take you to a screenshot from my Twitter account here, guys. On uh, earlier in the day during lunchtime, I said volume is light right now, but keep an eye on ADOM for a potential afternoon push to dollar land. Okay, again, guys, follow me on Twitter at Mike Edward underscore TTG. Um, volume is light right now, but keep an eye on ADOM for a potential afternoon push to dollar land. Let's go back to the chart. Okay, I tweeted that just around 1 p.m. Okay, because we had just regained that new, that primary support level. Now, the other thing I want you to notice is a very nice pennant pattern started to form on ADOM. Let me delete all these arrows so you can see it a little bit more clear. Okay, there's your nice little pennant wedge pattern. Okay. As we started to get closer to the afternoon session, okay, typically what you look for, this is another lesson I've covered in previous videos, when you're looking for stocks that have the potential to make a further, another push in the afternoon, you want to look for stocks that were strong in the morning and are holding above key support levels throughout lunchtime. ADOM fits that category, strong in the morning, holding above, uh, now back above holding that primary support level throughout lunchtime. OK, remember, back to my previous video, primary support level got broken, secondary support held, regained the primary support level throughout the rest of lunchtime. Lunchtime's from like 12 to 2 and then right at right around 2 o'clock, bang, we get the big breakout and huge volume comes back into the stock. OK, I noticed I was also watching VVUS. OK, and what I noticed was VVUS get a big volume surge and break through the high of the day right at 1.42 p.m. So right before that 2 o'clock time frame when we're going to start to come out of lunchtime. That's when I said, okay, I'm going to start to look for an entry here on ADOM. Going to look for at least a tier one. I'll risk back down below that 82 cent level um, or down to this, this secondary support level on my tier one. When I add tier two, I'd only risk down to this 82 cent level. I'll take it to my trade announcements on the day that I post live in chat uh, for all of our members at 1:44 p.m. Long tier one ADOM at 85 cents. I was risking that tier one is a small position. Tier one guys is about 25 percent of my desired position size. I was risking that down towards to 78 cents. OK, let's go back to the chart. That is right. Here is my entry. OK, right there is my entry in ADOM. Okay, you can see, you know, less than 10 minutes later, we get the break out of this pennant pattern, this wedge pattern that I drew on my screen on a huge increase in volume. Guys, I added to my position right here around 89 cents, 89, 90 cents. And when we started to get that real big surge in volume, I added to tier two and the stock just starts to push. Take you back to my trade announcements. Took some profit off at 93 um, in front of the high of the day, just in case the high didn't break. Then at 1.55 p.m., so 11 minutes after my entry, I sold the bulk of my position at 97 cents, still holding some. And then at 2.03 p.m., final take profit ADUM at $1.05 for a nice 24% gain on that final take profit. And the stock ended up pushing much higher. OK, look at that. We went all the way up to almost a dollar thirty. My final take profit, guys, was right there. There's my final take profit for a 24 percent gain. And the stock ended up, you know, having enough strength to continue and, and push even higher. But I was that's fine by me. I'm, I'm was very, very happy with this trade. I'll take that 24 percent gain any day. And it all goes back to being prepared and not taking my eyes off of ADOM just because it broke below that primary support level. Because as I mentioned in my last video, that's the type of action that I've been seeing. 
Okay. I, I said, I've been seeing that in my last video. And then here it was today, uh, in ADOM, exactly that, exactly that primary support being broken, secondary support holds, push back above the primary support. That support then is regained and the stock continues higher later in the afternoon. That's the type of action that we've been seeing. That's what I mean by it's been a little bit tougher because stocks are pulling back in a little deeper than you would like them to. Okay. Ideally, you would have liked to have seen ADUM hold above this 82 cent level all throughout lunchtime, but it didn't. It tested your patience. Okay. And that's the kind of market that we're in right now. You're, you're being tested. Stop losses are being tested. Your patience is being tested. Your discipline is being tested. Okay. You got to recognize that kind of stuff. And we were able to recognize it in ADUM and it really was a thing of beauty. I'll take you back to my Twitter account. And here it is, guys. Shortly after that original tweet, 24% gain in ADUM like clockwork called this dollar land push earlier was a beauty. And here was a screenshot from um, what I just showed you, my announcements that I post live in chat for all of our members in real time. Okay. And it really was just an awesome trade. Um, you know, we never, I never gave up. I never gave up on the trade from earlier in the morning when I tried to get a fill and, and I just got nothing. Um, would have been very easy for me to just get frustrated and not look at the stock. And then to see the stock break below that support level right there, you know, could have been easy again for me to just take my eyes off it. But I didn't stay with it, stuck with it. And I started to recognize that it regained that primary support level. We jumped in, wrote it up. Some of our members sold this thing off at like a dollar twenty. Um, I mean, just big gains, big gains in the afternoon on that ADOM. I was really, really, really happy with that trade. It was a really nice uh, setup, and we, you know, nailed it. Now, uh, to my swing trade, I'll give you some updates on my swing trades, guys. SE beast, beast of a swing on this SE. 16% gain on the bulk of my position. Look at this move, guys. I was long. Uh, if you go back to my previous video when I talked about the swing trade alert. Um, SE, I got long right here on the 16th at $11 and 50 cents. And I just took the bulk of my profit off up here. Take it to my trade announcements. Here it is. Um, took, so first I took some profit off at 1287 for 12% 12 gain, still holding some. And then at 318 in the afternoon, took more profit from SE swing trade on, uh, May 16th at 1332. That's a 16% gain. And I'm still holding on to some of that position. Uh, looking for a move up towards 14, but already locked a 16% gain on the bulk of my position was really um, a thing of beauty here on that swing trade. Guys, please, if you haven't watched the analysis on this SE, um, there's a lot of lessons in that video. Go back, watch that previous uh, video. It's The title is Three New Swing Trades, something, something like that. It's just like two videos ago, I believe. Um, yeah, it is two videos ago. So go back, rewatch that because I go over my analysis and my breakdown on the setup on that swing trade on SE. When I initiated the swing trade on the 16th, I go over that setup and I go over with you what it was that I saw and why I took that trade. So make sure you go back and, and take a look at that. Now, my other um, trade that I was holding on to a small piece of was not a full position, was was a small position, was SESN, formerly EBIO. I sold out of that today. Um, guys for a loss on that swing trade. So I was long from $3 and 28 cents, right? Zoom back out right here was my entry on the 16th. And I sold some of my position right here before the close. Cause I did not like how we broke through the high of the day in the afternoon and then failed and started pulling back in. So I lightened my position right before the close. And then I finally take it back to my trade announcements. Sold out remaining SESN from the EBIO swing trade from uh, May 16th at three bucks. Okay, so I took a 28 cent uh, loss where I sold out right there. There it is. So there's my, so I took a loss on SESN, but it was a small position. Um, again, you can go back and watch that previous video. I go over that setup um, with you. Uh, but this SE was a beast, thing of beauty. Look at this daily chart. Look at that breakout. Beautiful. Got long right here. Sold out the bulk of my position right there. It was really a beautiful, beautiful swing trade. Definitely make sure you guys go back and watch that analysis. And then ADOM, thing of beauty. Going to keep our eyes on ADOM, guys, for some possible continuation. Big volume in the afternoon. It was a really nice move. All right. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. See you guys in chat Monday morning. Take care.